Hello everyone and welcome back. It's January of 2022 and we're working on a small generator here. It's a power horse generator. I'm not sure what size it is. Hasn't been run in a couple years and the customer wants me to look it over. So we're gonna check it out. It came to me like this without the covers, but that just makes it a lot easier. What we'll do is we'll check the oil first. See if it's got any oil in it. All right, it's spilling out, so it's got oil. That is the one thing on a generator you constantly have to check. Most generators have a shutoff if there's no oil pressure. Let's take a look at the gas tank. Uh-oh. There's rust in there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. That's not going to be good. All right, we'll see if it's got some compression. And then we'll go from there. It's got a pull start and an electric start. Set you over here for a minute. But I'm quite sure the battery's dead on the electric start. So we'll make sure it's in the off position anyway. And we'll give it a couple of pulls. Yeah, she's got compression. Well, let's take a look at it and see. I don't dare put any gas in that gas tank. Not with that rust in it. We'll see if we can feed some fuel into it elsewhere. I'm trying to see if there's a... second clip on this air cleaner or not. No, nope, doesn't look like it. But boy, it sure doesn't want to come out. My God, how are you supposed to work on these things? There it comes. All right, so we got a pre-filter. And that's it. In a metal frame. We'll see if we can get this off and out of our way and make a little room. I really don't want to dismantle this any farther than it already is. second nut in there holding with a carburetor. And that's what holds the air cleaner on. Hope I'm not in your way. That's the trouble with shooting video on something. Sometimes the camera is just in the way. Yeah, it looks like there's one more on the back. Right there. Luckily, so far, the only thing that's shown any signs of corrosion is just the gas tank. All 
right, let's see if we can get this air cleaner out of here. That's a little bit better, easier to work on. All right, let me get a screwdriver. We're gonna see if there's any fuel left in the in the carburetor. That's a drain. All right, well, luckily there's no fuel left in it. Well, let's go ahead and take the float bowl off and see what we got. I need to get some of these lines out of the way. Not sure what all they go to. Looks like just breathers of some sort. See if we can get this drain line off without destroying it. Right now it's just in the way. Well, at least they're consistent. So far everything's just been a 10 millimeter bolt. Or nut. We're gonna put this under here just, just in case there's a little bit left in the float bowl below the drain. Not too terrible. Probably should pull that carburetor off though and see what it's doing. Set that aside. see what that said here it goes to this plug right here See if we can get in there and separate that plug so we can get that carburetor out. Hold on just a second. All right, let's take a look at this. Get the float ball over here to hold a few things. And the float and the needle look pretty good. See if we can gently remove this O-ring gasket. This needle has the rubber tip on it, so there's no gasket down inside there. Get some cleaner and see what we can do to clean this up.
you know what instead of doing that let's just check it first put that back in put our pin in we're gonna blow through it like this it should shut the fuel off like this it should allow it to go through works good that way I don't think we need to mess with it let's try it this way all right we know the needle and the float are sealing so we're not gonna mess with them Let me get some cleaner. All right, I think I have found a screwdriver that'll get this out. I've got some small brushes there for cleaning an airbrush, and I've got some torch tip cleaners. Can't find my regular carburetor cleaner. I think I'm out of it, but that's okay. We'll just use a little 40 to one mix. First things first, let's see if we can get this out of here ever so gently. Got to be very careful getting these out. They're made of brass. They're very soft. You can easily chew it up. And if you chew it up, You'll never get it out. So there is a small jet in that. And let's see if we can get the emulsion tube out. And there's the emulsion tube. So whenever you can get them out, you want to because all those little tiny microscopic holes there. Grab my torch tip cleaner and see what I've got that'll fit those tiny holes without making them any larger. just want to go through all the holes make sure they're not plugged all right that's clean now we just got to find which one will clean this one that one goes right through there we go And that one doesn't. Just want to make sure these are not blocked. We'll get a little fuel and a and a brush here and clean some of this stuff up. You can use the toothbrush, a brass brush. I would not use a wire brush. But any of these here, which are just made in nylon.
those will work good. I think we can just put this thing back together now. Put our emulsion tube back in. Get our jet back in there. Ever so gently threading it in until it stops. If you can't thread it in easily, you're cross threading it, you need to stop, take it out, and redo it. see our carburetor was on like that so we're gonna want our float bowl like that so the drain facing that way if you ever use carb cleaner be very careful of these rubber gaskets these o-rings carb cleaner will make them stretch out like you would not believe And here we should be able to do the entire job with no parts required. We'll feed that back up and around where it was. Yes, I'm buttoning it back up. I found a fuel filter. I really don't want to run gas in that gas tank, but I kind of don't have a choice. I don't have any fuel line of that size. Because otherwise I would run a separate fuel tank, gravity feeding, up from the top. All right, I'm going to throw some gas in it and see what it does. We'll get this airline hooked back up, this breather line. All right, hold on a minute. I did put some gas in it. So let's see what it does. We've got it on choke.
she won't run without it being choked. That means carburetor's got to come off and it's got to get put in the tank. She's only running with a choke on.